Hello channel friends, this is W Copeland 38 and today I'm bringing you a video about a Smith & Wesson SW3B Special Ops M9 bayonet. It's from the Special Ops Forces and it's made to be fixed to several different type of uh, guns. This one fits my uh, Mossberg 590 and you've seen the video about that. It's a fixed blade knife. It comes with the uh, scabbard, belt loop, pouch, a connector for multi-purpose attachments, and we'll go over that in a minute. Here's the back. It's got a clip for putting on a belt or other uh, equipment. It's got a little fastener here. Here's the uh, fastener with the snap to retain the uh, bayonet. Here's the handle snap. And I'm going to take it out and I'm going to go over a few things with you. Okay, set this down. Okay, I'm going to adjust the focus. Here we go. Smith & Wesson Special Ops. It's rather long. Let's go over the dimensions on it real quick. It's 12 and 3 quarter inches overall. Blade length is 7 and 3 quarter inches. The weight is 14.6 ounces. It's got a black Teflon coated stainless steel drop point blade with a saw back. It's got a black polymer handle with a black finish stainless guard. There's the guard. This goes into where you go to attach the bayonet. Goes into the lug. Now back here are your locking clips where it locks the bayonet in place. It's got a very rough texture handle. You can see the cuts in it for maximum retention. And this puppy is extremely sharp. right out of the box. Now, one thing I found out it's is called Molly compatible. That's spelled M O L L E. And Molly means modular lightweight load carrying equipment. So what that is, that that's to describe a specific system manufactured by specialty defense systems for attaching equipment to the soldiers. It, uses, it utilizes a subsystem that has the woven PALS. This stands for a pouch attachment ladder system. So the soldiers can stack one item on the next on their person while they're out in the field. Now, let's go over a few other things. I'll show you the, uh, got a lot of neighbors going by. I'm doing this outside because it's so nice. Here's the scabbard. I showed you the pouch. Now if you flip it over, pop this snap loose. Sharpening stone. It's got the capability of being attached with belts. And it's got an attachment down here in case you have an oval item that want, that attached down on the uh, down below the scabbard. It's got a snap release for disconnect right here. 
flip it over. This comes off and you attach it to your belt or any other item on your, on your pack that you uh, would need to attach it to. Really quite useful. Very nice setup that they've got going here. Now these run about $70 retail. And it's well worth it. It's extremely sharp, like I said. It's got the razor back. Saw back, I mean. A really good, substantial, heavy duty knife. It's got the cutout in the blade. I believe it uh, reduces weight a little bit. It's got the grooves in here, anybody that's been in the military knows what the, this grooves for. There's a, this is actually for letting out blood. The blade on it, like I said, is extremely sharp. I'm going to give it a real quick uh, paper test. Not bad, is it? Well, that's me again. There, we get rid of that. Anyway, you can tell from the video and the paper that it's extremely sharp. Once again, this is the Smith & Wesson Special Ops Bayonet M9. This was, uh, I believe I picked it up at uh, Big Five. Now one thing that it does have, I want to show you. There's a clip inside here that retains the uh, bayonet. Now some people complain that this can leave a mark on the blade. Which it does a little bit. But you know what, these are meant to be used. Unless you're putting them up on a shrine, then you're not going to leave it in here anyway. I'll get, let you have a nice little look at this dude. SW3B Pretty nice little weapon Check one out at your local Big Five or anywhere that they might have this at This is W Copeland 38 saying check them out check the price See if it might be something you would like to add to your arsenal have a good evening, and I'm done.